Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Well, I didn't take as long of a break as I thought maybe I would have to. Here it is the weekend and I've been running Arch Labs on a different system. This is not on my main daily driver. I'm still running Linux Mint XFCE. I need a stable system on my laptop as I travel. But I'd kind of promised myself and some other folks that I was certainly going to do a video on Arch Labs 5 R2D2. So I wanted to just share this with you. I know there's been other videos posted and things like that. And so far, the, the reviews have been very positive about stability and speed. And I can certainly attest to the speed because this is a mediocre system that I'm running here with an AMD processor and only 4 gigs of RAM. I turned off the compositing and this thing's really snappy. That's because it's using the OpenBox desktop. Now, much like the first time I used OB Revenge, I kind of had to find my way around and remember what I was doing, but it's also very simple and very light and very fast. Now, you won't see a traditional menu launcher here. This is actually an icon of Simple Screen Recorder, which is running to record this video. But what you do get is a right-click menu that gives you access to practically everything here. You could really just right-click anywhere you are and launch into everything from applications to file manager to terminal um, go right into system settings uh, let's pull up Arch Labs hello and I'll just mention this wallpaper was not default uh, I've also changed the icons and there's a plethora of icon choices and theme settings and things like that to choose from which we'll dig into a little bit this is what you see when you launch in for the first time uh, that'll give you access to documentation, README, Wiki, sent, uh, same with the uh, support here. Or you could go into forums and chat room, um, project, get involved, and development. Or if you want to launch this at startup. Now also what you'll see is this conky widget here to the right. Now where this has been improved is you've got the shortcut keys listed here. So again, this is what you see when you boot in for the first time right mouse click on the desktop to get the menu we talked about but then you've got all the various combination of key commands to launch into various things and then the one thing I want to point out is alt F3 so if you're looking for that more traditional menu layout you'll have that with alt F3 and this will kind of give you the full list of application settings as opposed to just right click menu kind of like whisker menu and that you've got categories here on the left and applications on the right now let's talk about applications for a minute this is a fairly I'm gonna call it full figure distro it comes in at 1.8 gigs um, and there's again more here than meets the eye a lot of that's like in accessories and then I think also for the size you've got a lot of themes in place and a lot of wallpapers and uh, lots of icon packs and things in place here so that takes up a little more space uh, but like under accessories, you've got quite a long list here, but this is all very um, handy stuff to have here in accessories. So you've got archive manager, uh, bulk rename, the catfish file search, which is nice uh, if you wanted to launch in and change your Compton compositor settings. Disk manager, font viewer, the device manager for HP printer, which is nice to have in place there. I've actually got an old HP printer. Uh, nitrogen for browsing the wallpapers we'll look at that and then plank which I've got set up here so I launched that you don't see this dock at the bottom by default I probably should have loaded this up to be you know what you see out of the gate but there's many other videos on Arch Labs 5 that will show you that you know default look so I figured hey we're okay screenshot tool task manager uh, the Thunar file manager so if you're used to running XFCE uh, you'll be at home there with Thunar, a very capable file manager. USB image writer and formatter, a variety, which is a wallpaper changer, and XF Burn. I'm going to skip over development here. There's a few apps I'm just not familiar with. We'll go over to graphics, uh, document viewer. Uh, GIMP is in place, GPIC for color picking. Uh, Inkscape, which I use from time to time. That was nice to see. I'm not familiar with this. This is pink. This is the record... Uh, short animated GIFs or GIFs images from your screen and then Vunor. Under internet you're going to have a couple of choices for browser. You've got Chromium, Firefox, and Vivaldi all set up as well as transmission um, and then ZenMap here. And we'll move over to multimedia. So under multimedia I was again thrilled to see Simple Screen Recorder already set up and installed so thank you very much guys I do appreciate that as well as VLC and SM and then one other thing I was happy to see here Pulse Audio Volume Control was set up and in place 
Under Office, you're going to see the typical LibreOffice. And then Full Settings here and System. So you got HTOP there under System. So let's go back to Settings. I want to talk about this. So lots of various settings here for the OpenBox desktop. Everything from key bindings to the menu editor to customizing the panel. And then you have also Tint2 settings for the Tint2 bar up here. And then you have a settings manager and a settings editor. Now some of these are a little bit redundant in areas. And again, what I would say is, or if I haven't said this, make sure you go to Eric Dubois' YouTube channel and kind of pay attention to his lineup of videos there that get into some of these settings. So if you're fairly new to OpenBox uh, or i3, the i3 desktop which is in play here, uh, spend a little time just kind of figuring out what does what. And the reason I say that is I myself have gotten into trouble with some of the settings. I've wound up with like double planks down here and things like that. So, um, you know, don't be afraid to go in and try various settings. Uh, you, you probably won't mess up, and I say probably, you probably won't mess up your system, but there's a lot you can really dig into here and customize. So, you know, keyboard commands and things like that, for example, that allow you to really make this a unique experience to you, which is part of the appeal for sure. So, uh, you could customize your notifications, things like that. All right, so let's come out of this, and I'm actually going to right click and we're going to go back into preferences and we'll go to choose wallpaper and I bring this up because whoever was responsible for getting all these wallpapers set up and in place you did a fantastic job I think there's something here for everyone and I know many of you are probably laughing and saying uh, you're, you're gonna talk about wallpapers well yes I am because these are beautiful high quality wallpapers and again it's a selection for kind of everyone Now here's the default wallpaper so we'll go ahead and apply that nice clean look we'll go back into nitrogen here I think you've got some other just like if you like landscape for example or scenery outdoor scenery just some beautiful stuff that I've never seen before and believe me I look at a lot of wallpapers so nice to see that in place now another area we'll go ahead and close that out Another area where some um, time and attention was paid was to the Conky widget here. Again, the, you see this by default, listing various uh, keyboard shortcuts. But if you right-click and you go into Preferences and into Conky, you can then go into Conky Chooser. And from there, you're going to see a lot of default, or not default, a lot of custom Conky widgets. Now, this loads slow. Uh, you've got thin time, so we're going to take a look at that that's unique I've never seen it before then you've got and this was really cool you've got the Arch Labs team which shows a panel to the right with all the various time zones for the um, for the Arch Labs team which brilliant so uh, let's just look at uh, thin time just to give you an idea of some of the custom and there's a long long list here more than I've ever seen before within the Conky manager so we'll go ahead and change that. That'll switch over 353 there. And we'll go ahead and move back over to a different wallpaper. Let me find my way around here. Uh, so let's go into choose wallpaper. And we're going to go to something a little different. Just to kind of give you an idea of how quickly you can change things. Now speaking of changing things, I want to go to another area. And this is an area that if you want to change things up without kind of digging deep, into a lot of more detailed settings uh, you can simply go into the XFCE4 appearance changer and quickly change things up from there so we could go for example Arc Polo or uh, Arc Papyrus for example let's go to Papyrus Dark and then you could go right over and change up the icons we'll go down here to uh, say Surfing Arc that would be that's going to change things up and really just that quick or if you wanted to change your fonts or some of the toolbar styles. You could do all of that safely, uh, enable event sounds, things like that, safely from within the XFCE for appearance. You could also add a panel up here for XFCE. I'm not going to do that for the purposes of the video, but you can see how quickly, bam, we've got a different looking uh, desktop and environment here. Well, it, get, 
it gets much deeper than that. And again, I'm just going to say spend some time over at Eric Dubois' channel. I'll put a link in the video notes to that so that you can see how much deeper you can really get in and dig into things and really change everything from the panel here to menu list, on and on and on. So if you're someone who gets into customizing and tweaking and, you know, like you see your operating system as a hot rod, then I'm going to say Arch Labs is something, Arch Labs 5 here with, you know, RTD2 is something you really want to try. Also, OB Revenge, I'll recommend that one to you for uh, the ability to go in and really, I'm going to say, you know, like a hot rod, change this thing up. Uh, it's fast. It's a great way to experience Arch. It's also a point of discovery. So if you like new things with OpenBox and the i3 desktop, uh, this would be a good option for you. So have fun. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching. And I hope to be a little more frequent, but it may be a week or two before the next one. We'll see how work goes, how travel goes. Um, but certainly had fun with this. I'm going to keep this on this system because there's so much to discover here. All right, that's it for now. Thanks again for watching. We'll check you later.